Game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. My you heard about the heist, I take it. Must have uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't talk about her. You know who she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. I told you I won't. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Good memory for faces. We're closed right now. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? How's it going, honey bun? Joy toy you meet to come here. What the hell am I supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be on rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Any one could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? Could surprise you. I hate surprises. Mm-hmm. 
Really feeling that sense of community right now. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hey, got a minute to talk? Later, maybe. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? Is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the Mox? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? I need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. It wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Megat's hour. Luxurious. Let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. Surprised. You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Somewhere to be. <laughs> Heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker. Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the Mox ship a long time ago. And anyone not a Mox is not my damn problem. I'm guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just... Admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. Where do you give the working girls a helping hand? That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. 
Joy Girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Welcome to 1054. It's time for I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets spoiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted it to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain-dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild horde chase. So having a grand old time. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take a blow. 
blow up the dome, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheating. That's the infidelity. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different from some dull house ass? Because the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation's a sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, end up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. <sighs> I'm sorry, she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe board. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. 
You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel? Or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment. And you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And... the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth 9. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Don't Go worry. Eat a dick, All Johnny. your grown-up toys will be safe with us. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. But it would be much better, real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. Just gotta be programmed. As establishments fuck sideways go, this one takes the whole damn pie. Hear that? At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? <coughs> <coughs> You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This donk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. Uh. Second floor 
is for VIP customers only. Yo, what are you staring at? I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Welp, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying.
How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Look for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone, too. Except, won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared, because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me. I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through... Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. It wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. <sighs> so what now? Now. You find out what it is you need to do. Which is... You're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. 
and it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Vargin, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. Alright, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her, but that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill.
Well, the client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird.
チキンの匂いがブーンブーンSo how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there... You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is 
one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me.
I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure you're VIP? Relax, you don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk, to you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely, Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah, uh, You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping Tom's. You always got eyes in their dolls. Know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Right there, see that? 2 a.m. they hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Left her purse. Could have had more than one. All the shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference.
You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. No, you guys got hit by a runner a while back. I can make sure that never happens again. That's so. Uh, let's hear it then. Tit for tat. Want to be net secure? You're gonna help me find Evelyn first. That's the only way this is gonna work. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioural chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes, even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> you took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. <laughs> Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call, if there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. Now, you do your end. How do we board up against hacks? You'll need soft to isolate chip and implant receptor layers from cloud subnet. At the same time, it'll keep track of and block any attempts to modify the core on the go. Uh, now in human rather than machine. You need Smart Eye, latest version. Smart Eye. Got it. 
don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Dog fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. I've heard. A fucking psycho. Likes to hurt people. The monks have him on the flat. Some girls marked him for death. That's all pudding, honey. But so what? Assos like Shobu have been on my blacklist before I heard of him. The monks' blacklist is more powerful. It actually means something. I'll believe it when I see his rotting, stinking corpse. Amen to that. Looks familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. It's crumpled like a tissue. It must have been here a while. What's got you all glow? I saw Mr. J today. Thought you liked him. Thought he was your bull. He is, but he didn't come to see me. That's how it is with this crowd. You can't get too close. Trust me. The more you treat them like shit, the more they'll come back. Hold it there, honey. You seem to be in the wrong place. Hey, no peeking. Bad luck things like this. You hear about Rico Jinsei? No. Is she related to that politician or whatever, that nuts go? Hmm. Rico was her daughter. Found her dead. Oh, what happened? Yoshiwaki Noto happened. That's what. Murdered her. And he would be... Her input. You spend any time in real space? Hey! Atiklo. Saw him here once. Came I'm together. calling security. Chrome like that I've never seen on anyone. Could tell by the way he looked at her. He was butter in her hands. So why did he kill her? The one question I don't have an answer for. Day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait.
Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine. Right. No feeling going on. Think fingers got her. Think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Commission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka. We got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen. I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But it should be obvious. I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so... This Makoshi... What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer. An AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? 
50 years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi.